comes in these little packets. <laughs> it's a little pod, a pod. This is plastic. There we go. I'm drinking a lot of tea. Brought my tea with me. Chamomile, yeah. I've been getting my liquids, oh my gosh. And mint medley, I like it. I bring my vitamins, my ibuprofen just in case. What else? I bring my baking soda, what I do, I know, and I bring a little cup is, what I do is on my nightstand or uh, in my minivan, I don't have a nightstand, but I've got the little holders in the back. And what I do is just have a little bit of water with like a teaspoon of baking soda, just in case I get acid reflux. I haven't had that in a long time. Knock on wood. But you know, you never know. And I wanna have it ready. I had acid reflux really bad. Um, years ago, so it's kind of a, a habit. I'm gonna have some coffee. And then I want to show you how I use my hotel room to kind of do a reset and get refreshed. The one thing that I wanna mention about a bath is I was always a bath person. I've mentioned this a lot of times in my home when I lived in a house. A lot of times, especially in the um, winter, I would get, make my coffee and go hop in a nice hot bathtub. I didn't have a claw cub or a claw tub, not a cup, a tub, but it was, it was really high. <laughs> wow, I mean, I would lay down, it would go way up to here. Yeah, it was almost like a little swimming pool. It was a historical home and it was really nice. So a lot of times I would just soak in the tub in the morning and drink my coffee and kind of check online. So yeah, it was, um, so far being here, I've had three um, baths. When I first got here, you saw me yesterday and I was filling it up. How are we doing here? Then later in the evening, I took another one. Just, and then this morning I made my coffee and I went in and I took a bath. But here's my theory and I, and I believe it to be true. Um, when I'm soaking in a tub, my skin is absorbing get the liquid, you know, the, the water. So I feel so refreshed. I really do miss a bathtub and I miss a sink. I'll show you how I use the sinks in the bathtub. This is the kind that I use and downstairs in the lobby, they have a bunch of these. So when I first check in, I grab a few so I can bring them up because I do not you want to use that powdered coffee creamer anymore. And I always bring a spoon with me Okay, cheers. <laughs> oh, here's yours. I made some for you too. Here you go. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, speaking of that powdered creamer, I read an article and I don't know if you remember, it's been probably about six, seven months now since I have, since I used powdered creamer. What I was enjoying with the Cremora, and yeah, I think it was um, chocolate fudge or something like that flavor. Oh my gosh, it was so good. But, you know, when I didn't use it, I really missed it. It'd be like, oh my gosh, I, I just, coffee didn't taste good. I, I was almost grumpy 
<laughs> well, I read an article about it. There's a chemical that they're putting in the powdered creamers, all of them, to preserve it. And they said the body reacts to it almost like, it's like almost like heroin. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, that might be true. Who knows? I mean, that might be true because that's the way I felt. It was like, I really miss this. I can't have coffee unless I have that in there. And in the morning, and I really enjoyed it. When it was, it was like a, a chocolate flavor. <laughs> Well, any of them, a chocolate flavor or some of the other flavors. Um, and I drank my coffee so fast. I just gobbled it down. I'm so glad I'm off of, of the, um, what turns out to be like a drug. So let me know what you think about that in comments. I, I don't know where I found this article about it, but I know in, and it was funny too, because some of you were really saying, you you shouldn't use that, it's so bad for you. Well, you knew. And so I announced, I'm not using it anymore because it was like, no, I do not want to, um, that chemical in my body. So, and I really don't drink that much coffee. Not like I used to. When I was using that chocolate cream aura, uh, yeah, I would actually make coffee um, in the afternoon. I'd get all excited about it. <laughs> I know. Oh, my gosh. So I like to get a hotel. Let me see. I don't want to sit on anything. A hotel with um, two queens. Yeah, I like that better. Two queens because... One, I can sort of lay things on and and then sleep on the other one. I usually make my bed. I always do that in the morning. Well, it's not like they do it, but I make it because um, I want it to look nice because I want to spend as much time here as possible. Some people come to a hotel room and they're here to visit and they want to get going with the day they want to go um see some tourist sites and things that's not my thing i just want to be here <sighs> i like my um laptop it's a it's a mac pro air I haven't started writing yet, but I'm going to pretty soon. Just kind of getting settled with everything. I'm going to be leaving the area pretty soon. Um, yeah, this winter I'm going to be doing some writing. What else I like to do, because I have internet here, although it's not the best, but this, I use flash drives to store my videos, thumbnails, photos, things like that. And so... Last night, what I did was I went through and I cleaned out my phones of photos, organized things. So that's what I do while I'm here in a hotel room now. Oh, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> um, I've got my Jackery. Even though it's cooling down and I can stay in the sun longer to uh, keep my solar panel in the sun so I can power up my two jackeries, I don't always want to sit in the sun all day. I kind of like, you know, I like small spaces. I like to feel protected inside. I bet it probably had, when I was just uh, in the womb, I bet I had a good time in there. I was just hanging out, <laughs> floating around, yeah. But I've got this. This is completely. What are we at here? Yeah. 99. We'll pull that out. Yeah. So that's done. And then my other one's at about almost 89, something like that. So I'll be all powered up. I love being in a hotel room. What I want to do is coming up here is I think, I think once a month would be good. Take a bath once a month, soak in. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. I do not spend more than $100. No way. And some of them are so expensive. 
I won't even, I won't, I use Expedia and I won't even go through them. I will just look through. And um, this weekend was um, Columbus Day. And boy, there were a lot of travelers and some of them were like two, three hundred dollars regular that I would have stayed here. They were, it was almost up to three hundred dollars for a room. So I waited until now, middle of the week, holiday over, people are gone. And I got it for actually it was almost 90 because I had points and then they added tax on. So I won't spend more than a hundred dollars on a hotel room. And if they go keep going up higher, I won't do it. Because, you know, I mean, I work hard for our, we all work hard for our money, right? Well, when I get to where I'm going, Southern Arizona, I know the Planet Fitness is there and they have really nice shower rooms. Flagstaff, yeah, no. I mean, they're open area. Some of them are falling apart. There's just this little ragtag plastic that goes across. And it was just, and then you had to walk all the way through. No, the sh in Tucson, the showers, um, in most of the newer ones, you actually walk in, you shut a big glass door. You can't see through it, it's frosted. You've got a dressing room right there with a mirror, with a with a just a little bit of a, a a ledge you can put things on. Then you go through this little door. It's open, but you go through it and step into your shower. You can get dressed right in there. Not so here. So I won't need to have a hotel room as often when, once I get to Tucson. So, but I am going to stay here as long as I can because I've got a good system and it's cool here. It still gets up to like 98 degrees. No, I'm not gonna walk into a situation like that in Tucson or Yuma or Quartzsite, you know, if I decide to go there for a while. No, I'm just gonna hang out here for as long as I can. This will probably be my last hotel stopover until I start traveling south. If I have to and wash my hair, I'll have to just grin and bear it and go into Flagstaff or go into Planet Fitness. So I wanna show you what I actually do in my hotel room, what I bring with me. It's a lot to cart up and down, but it's worth it to have a sink and a bathtub. Those, and those are the things I miss the most. I've mentioned this. I love a bathtub and it's so convenient to have a sink. So let's go. My knee, I'm still kind of careful with it where I whacked it right there, but um, it's getting a little better. Let me move this up. There we go. I can still sit down on it. I'm just being careful. Okay, so this is, I brought everything in. I brought my bucket. And what I did was, after I knew I was done taking baths and everything, I put it in the bathtub in they give, a, they give a little bit of a shampoo and conditioner and these little things. Well, I used that and I soaked it in hot water. This is, by the way, this is my pee bottle. This is the lid. I washed this out and I washed it really good. Yeah. So I always feel refreshed after being in a hotel room. And then this is a bucket that I put this in. I just keep that in there. When I need to use it, I take it out and I kind of hover over it and then I put it back in here. So this needs to be washed out too. Now this I always know when I get back to my van, I will put a baggie over this, tie it tight, and then this will just stay in here. And then I put this on my front seat. When I go to drive, I just put it to the side and when I get somewhere and I go, I need, I want to go back into my area to live back there in my minivan, put this back on my front seat. I don't have to look at it that way. It's out of my way. And if I need to go pee, I just reach in, grab this, bring it, hover over it, pee, <laughs> put it back in. There we go. Yeah. So that's what I did here. Now, I also have my toothbrush container. I washed that out. I just took everything and wiped it down, took that little tube of shampoo and kind of washed everything out, took one of the hand towels, dried it out. Yeah. 
Now, another thing that I also do is my makeup case. I go through it. There's a couple of brushes in there that I like to wash out so I can get the little shampoo thing. Just kind of dab it a little bit and squeeze it with my hands. Rinse it out really good. Now, I went down to get a peanut butter sandwich. I made, I've been into peanut butter sandwiches and I just felt like I wanted something to eat and I saw my coffee cup, right? And I thought, you know, I mean, yeah, I do wash this out, but not in a sink. And so that's what I'm gonna do now. Just, just a tad. And then this, yeah, coffee gets up in here. Yeah. It's just a good time to have a sink and use it properly. Now here's one more washcloth. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, it's not that dirty, so. And they bleach everything. I <laughs> they bleach everything. So it didn't even come out that dirty. But yeah, I thought it'd be a good time to actually wash it up. Yeah. I'm going to leave that there and let it soak in water just a little bit, okay? Now what I do is I always bring my wipes in with me. Um, it's just weird using toilet paper now. I do feel just a little bit more fresh. <laughs> I just do. And so, yeah. This is almost empty. I brought it in with me. Yeah. And I bring in, I use one of their washcloths, but I also bring in my washcloth. I really like this one. It's a soft on this side, but this is for fluffing or sloughing off like a loofah. So when I'm in the bathtub, I can really get all the dead skin off. I just scrub. That's why sometimes I take the three baths. Um, my feet, I feel like, let me show my feet again. <laughs> I feel like I've got all the dead skin off. I did a good pedicure. But every time I got in the bathtub, I really scrubbed my feet to get all dead skin off. So I use... I use the hotel room. I think I use it really well. Uh, yesterday I did the safety tips. So I'm going to follow that for sure. They said to, they said to cover this up to check it first, but they said to cover it up. Now I got this that you put that up. I'm not sure how that works. If they say that all anybody can get in it, all the staff, this and this. They said to cover this. So when you're inside, cover this with a towel. Let's see. I don't know how they do that. Maybe like that. So somebody can't use a device that comes through up to open it. I don't know. And then they said to use, what else did they say to use? Two, a couple of coat hangers. They said to use a couple of coat hangers to jam this. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look on, on YouTube and see how what they mean by that. But I am going to get some more security for the doors since I do stay in a hotel. 
um, probably more often than a lot of people. Now, another thing I do, let's put these here, is this is parked in the closet here. I always, I get this out and I just lay it out. They usually give me extra towels, so I just lay one towel over it. There. Now when I'm in the bathtub, I've got my, um, a table. I can put my phone on, my light, um, my towel that I'm gonna use. Um, I have a, a special hair towel that I use. And my washcloth, and uh, yeah. If I make tea or coffee, I usually put it here on the tub, but. <laughs> the toilet <laughs> that's no not that big a deal to me having a toilet. I mean, I like my, my uh, potty system or my minivan, but good, I use it when I'm in here. <laughs> but this is what I do. So this is how I use the hotel room. Now I do bring my small power station. I think it's the I think the brand is Anchor, but I bring it's very small. I can plug that in, and I'm also working on making sure my two uh, lights are charged up for when I go back into my van. Yeah, yeah. So that way. You know, that way when I go back in, I'm totally refreshed. Everything's powered up. Everything's clean. I'm squeaky clean. Fingernails are done and, and um, clipped. Real, I, I clip mine real short. I don't like nails. And uh, I even washed out my water bottle. So how much time do I have left in here? About two more hours. There. Um... We'll see what I'm going to do. Their internet isn't all that great, but it's a little helpful. So, okay, everybody. I love you guys. I've got two. It's actually, it was only 39 degrees outside. I didn't feel it because I was in here. But I've got two net gaiters on, two black. And makes this into, this shirt, into a turtleneck. And they're on minivanlee.com, okay? <sighs> Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I've got the book, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Leeway. And that's on Amazon. So if you're thinking about this lifestyle, and if you're not having to pay, if you've got a decent Social Security coming in and you're not paying rent, and you don't have payments on your vehicle, you too can stay maybe once or twice a month and refresh yourself in a hotel. I know a lot of nomads that do that. So... Love you guys. Till tomorrow. New subject. New things to show you. Bye.